What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Snack Time. Today, as you saw from the title, we're gonna be checking out Wendy's Pretzel Baconator and also their peppermint frosty because I've actually never had it. So I'm intrigued to see how all of it tastes. It's a little twist on something original and I uh, hope y'all enjoy the video. All right, so the total came to about $13 and like 28 cents if I'm correct. Um, it would have been more expensive, but it was a coupon on the app. Always use the app, in my opinion, uh, to give me $2 off. So that's how I brought it down a little bit. But it is pretty expensive. The combo is pretty expensive this time. It makes sense, though. You're getting two patties and bacon. Uh, I did add lettuce, onion, or no, I think it was just onion, pickle, and mustard. Because it doesn't come, bacon there pretty much just comes with meat and cheese. And I'm just like, I kind of want some onion and pickles on my burger. This is a vanilla Coke. Also for my fries, I always get the uh, ghost pepper ranch sauce. This stuff is so good, man. I'm glad they're keeping it around too. As always, you got the fries. I actually go down to a small fry, mainly because I do not need a medium fry. I just don't need it. They usually give you a lot when you get a small. As you can tell, they gave me a lot. Now I watched Dame Drop's video on this pretzel baconator. He made it seem like it was really good, but I was already gonna try it regardless. This thing is really hot. I think they actually honestly made it fresh because I was waiting for about a good like, three to five minutes. I literally listened to like two songs. So let me see what these fries hitting on really quick. Give me one second. Do a little dip action for y'all. That ghost pepper ranch, I'm telling you it hits. Oh yeah, they're hot. Woo! Mm-hmm. When Wendy's fries are fresh, they're really good. When they're not, they're pretty nasty. Ooh, those are good. Mm. Now I'm going to go ahead and try the frosty now just because I don't want it to really melt too much, but I don't mind it being melted. I just honestly want to see how it tastes first and then I'm going to get to the burger. Now I didn't try the pumpkin spice one or whatever that fall flavor was. I don't do pumpkin spice. That's not for me. I like pumpkin pie. I don't like when they do all the pumpkin spice because usually they, they do too much nutmeg or one or the other is too much ingredient or something. So we're going to see how this one is. I do like peppermint stuff. The one at uh, Chick-fil-A, the peppermint milkshake at Chick-fil-A is so good, man. Okay. It tastes just like a peppermint. It's got a nice little light flavor to it. It's really nice. Yeah, that's good. I honestly, I would give that probably... It's really good. That's solid. I still like the strawberry frosty more than this, but this is a nice little runner up. I would probably give this like a three and a half out of five. It's nothing crazy, but it's good. It's solid. All right, now for the main event. Look at this. This thing looks huge, man. They got that pretzel bun action. Y'all know what it is. I haven't had a pretzel bun in a long time. Usually when pretzel bun, when they do pretzel buns at fast food places, they just don't seem like they're good. It looks not like the photo at all, but the bacon looks good. The burger is literally hot. And we're going to see how it is. I think, yep, they added my pickles and everything. All right, that's good. I am going to add a little bit of pepper. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper, uh, crushed pepper, because they don't really season their patties. So, yeah, I'm going to add that really quick. All right, y'all, here we go. Wendy's new pretzel baconator you know what's crazy they haven't had like a new baconator in a long time i remember when son of the baconator came out and i was like yo that son of the baconator that was the one all right let's give it a taste mm. Mm. that's pretty good Mm. This thing is like packed. Mm. Let me just say, that's a lot. That's a lot. Mm. Burger is juicy. It's nice and hot. Cheese is melted to perfection. Honestly, this is great. It's pretty much just like another, a little bit of a step up from the regular Baconator. I like it. I actually think they honestly should keep it. It's really good. It's solid. I'm going to give it honestly a four. 
I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. It's it's really good. Like honestly, like I haven't had a baconator in a long time, and I must say, this thing is hitting right now. It's busting. Um, the pretzel bun is really good. It's nothing crazy. It's nice and chewy. Um, it's literally like a pretzel. It's actually really good. It's not salty or anything. Not like salty like like an Auntie Anne's or a Wetzel's pretzel, but it has that you know chewy factor. Uh, from the bun. It's really nice. The meat itself is juicy as always. It's fresh, never frozen beef. Y'all know how they get down at Wendy's. Definitely recommend you check it out if you like burgers. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.